The floor is to Roland Clark. Note that unemployment in the EU is 10.5% of the working age population. Among the young, it's averaging 28% across the EU, with nearly, with nearly 50% in Greece and Spain. In the UK, the overall employment, unemployment rate is 7.7%, with youth unemployment at less than 20 At the same time, Britain is seen as unenthusiastic towards the EU. Indeed, this morning, commenting on David Cameron, speaker said that we cannot take the parts we want and opt out of the rest. That's an echo of one of the first comments I heard in the Employment Committee after election in 2004. We don't want member states to opt out of the Working Time Directive. That will give them an advantage. But we did opt out, legally, of certain provisions of the WTD, leaving UK employers more free to engage workers. Is that why the UK figures are better than the EU average? Social aspects and growth improve when people have jobs. It is not then a question of policy coordination, it is keep policy out of employment. Uh, Mr. Clark, uh, you have a request uh, uh, for Brucard. Of course. You accept, uh, Mr. Martin? I'll be very brief, my dear colleague. If the UK is doing so well with its opt-outs and its options, what about real income, particularly in the area we're talking about? Uh, with no industry uh, policy anymore in the UK, you seem to be relying entirely on the financial markets complex. Mr. Clark. But the EU is not doing very well. Its economic growth is failing, which is what you're talking about today. The whole idea is falling apart. We are failing. And if we're not, why is it that so many firms are opting out of Europe, taking their business abroad, resulting in us having to spend billions of euros on the Globalisation Adjustment Fund to make up for their shortfall? Okay. Mrs. Marisa.